So I'm really excited about having you here with us because I know this challenge in the next 21 days are truly going to be transformational to your life. If you actually follow along and do these things, because it's not about just creating more happiness. It's about having a lifestyle that creates and embraces and looks for happiness in your everyday living. So why 21 days? Well, it's just a starting point of creating a habit. We all have habits. We all have rituals that we do that kind of create our emotional set point. So for example, you might feel this level of happiness. You can't really get past that point because we have an emotional set point. And then you go up and down, up and down. So what we really are trying to do and what we're going to do in these 21 days is help you set a different emotional set point where joy and happiness are your set point. So it's not about I'm feeling depressed, I was tired, sad. How can I get myself to feel happy? It's where you're naturally going to look for these things, where you're naturally going to create these things because now you have the tools to be able to do that. So bumping you to the next level. And why is that? It's because we have these receptor sites. Every cell has receptor sites. And every emotion has a chemical that's released throughout your body, throughout your brain. So what happens is that, let's say if you experience frustration, anger, sadness, for too long, every time that cell splits, it realizes that it needs more receptor sites, which are the the things. It's like kind of a port that takes this chemical and, and connects it. It's like a lock and key. And it says, I need more receptor sites to be able to take in more sadness because there's so many chemicals of sadness. So what happens is that your natural state is sadness instead of happiness. Your natural state might be frustration, whereas somebody can be next to you, experience the same thing, and they can find happiness from all those situations because that is their set point because they've created that within their their brain, their chemical Right. So what happens with this time is that you're giving your brain and your body an opportunity to then have those receptor sites when the cells split again. Now that you have more chemicals of happiness, now it's going to look for ways to create more of that so you can actually experience more happiness in your life. Not only that, but you'll be able to search for happiness through your focus unconsciously through this program. Because what happens is that you have something called the reticular activating system. And this is very small part of your brain that's very goal orientated. So you have all these bits of information going all around you, but you only can focus on a very, very small percentage of that. So what happens if you're used to anger, frustration, sadness, your mind is constantly looking around you to find things that will create that in your reality because that is what you focus on. Even if you don't want it, that is what's naturally happening within you. So what's happening in these 21 days is that you're going to be able to shift that to then find a new focal point for your brain to be able to say, yep, that'll make me happy. Yep, that'll make me happy. Ha <laughs> ha, that makes me laugh. So you're naturally then going to search in your limited capacity to be able to be aware of situation, those things that are going to create joy and happiness in your life. So it's a very, very powerful tool. It's almost like building a muscle. So, you know, you can't just start building a muscle and all of a sudden be able to lift 300 pounds or 100 or even 50, depending on where you're at in your life. So you have to kind of work it out. And this is what you're doing. You're working out your happiness muscle. You're training your happiness muscle to be able to experience it and have it in your life. So why happiness anyways? You might say, well, why would I want more happiness? I'm content. But if you're happy, it impacts every aspect of your life. You live longer, you live healthier, you're more productive. You Studies have shown that you actually are able to get more raises and more jobs, you know, and job interviews and things like that. You have better relationships that are more intimate relationships that last longer and are more fulfilling. You have more success in general. And overall, you just have a better quality of life in every aspect because it changes your perspective about everything that happens around you. So if you want to be more abundant financially, if you want to have a better relationship, if you want to be able to be happier, if you want to be able to be healthier, even physically healthier, then happiness is the key of doing that. So I hope that you take these 21 days with stride and that you enjoy the process, which I know you will. Just take the steps, commit to this challenge, 
Because if you do it, it will transform your life. So we look forward to helping you create more happiness, enjoy in every aspect of your life. And I hope that you're up for this challenge and I'll see you throughout the process. I'll encourage you throughout the process and we'll do this together. And in 21 days, you will have a different reality. Thank you.